Let's talk about the best entry level IT certifications for the year 2022. This is for beginners or who wants to start their career in IT and up to, let's say, two years of experience. You may have seen some videos of the same title, but they put Security Plus and OSCP on the same list of best certifications or CCNA and CCIE together. I find it really stupid because this certification should be in a different level or different tiers. Now, I base this list on many different criteria, such as cost, market value, market demand, exam content, potential pay, career path. And there is one more, recertification strategy. Here is the best example. I have 50 certification from this IT vendor. I just need to pass one exam for every couple of years. And all of this 50 certification will be recertified. The reason why this is very important because I know many people got their certification expired. Since we're talking about potential pay and career path, I would like to highlight this. As much as possible, avoid a help desk job. Avoid a plus certification. I don't want you to start your career fixing printers. Is it possible for you to land a better job? Absolutely. The top certification that we're gonna talk about requires skills and knowledge associated with the exam. Cut the certification versus skill debate. The goal is to get certified because you have the skills and knowledge. No cheating, please. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada. And what is my qualification doing this video again? I have 60 plus certifications and it keeps growing. I started my career as a programmer, then became a web and Linux administrator became a network engineer, then a security specialist, then a solutions architect slash solutions manager, became a global IT instructor focusing on certification strategies, been a hiring manager several times, helped thousands of people build their IT careers and helped them move from their poor countries to the United States, Australia, UK, Canada, and Singapore. I am your career and certification captain. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certification, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Tier 1, base or foundation certifications, also means that you still don't know which career path you will be taking. It can be network, servers, cloud, security, and many others. Let's say you only have a budget for three certifications. So let's begin. 1. CCNA or the Cisco Certified Network Associate. This should be your very first certification. It's still the most valuable entry-level certification. It's still the most popular. It's still the gold standard. And it's a good idea to build your network skills first. It will also introduce you to other paths such as security, cloud, and data center. Next, CompTIA Linux Plus. Well, one of the most important technology is Linux. As an IT professional, you need to understand this technology, Linux. The sooner the better. The exam doesn't only cover Linux basics, but it also shows you how to apply Linux to cloud, data center, and a little of security. Next, number three. F5 Certified Big IP Administrator or F5CA. 
This complements your CCNA and Linux Plus certifications because at 5 Big IP, it's an application delivery controller or ADC, a device that processes servers and application traffic. And at the same time, it's a security and network appliance. I already mentioned this in another video. F5 is a very expensive product. It's the Ferrari of system and network appliances. If you are certified to manage their platform, of course, company will pay you even more, more than the average network or system engineers. Many people are saying that the best entry level certifications are A+, Network+, and CCNA. It doesn't give you any advantage if you got both Network Plus and CCNA. And again, A plus is good for help desk role. Please avoid it. Our goal is for you to jump to cloud and data center or cybersecurity path as soon as possible. Okay, so here's the question. Which one looks better? First set, A plus, Network Plus, and CCNA. Second set will be our three certifications. Okay, F5CA, Linux Plus, and CCNA. Which do you think will land a better job? Who do you think will get more money? Let's say you want to specialize in cloud and data center with zero or very minimal cloud and data center experience. Can you go ahead with cloud and data center certs? Of course. We also have top entry level certifications for cloud and data center. So let's begin. First, we have the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. So why AWS? Well, it's because it's the leading cloud service provider. This certification is very popular and the most in demand in the market. Second, Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer. So why Google Cloud? Well, I'm a fan of Kubernetes and uh, the best Kubernetes as a service is GKE. Stands for Google Kubernetes Engine, which runs in GCP or Google Cloud Platform. I may be a little biased here. And um, how about the third one? Next is the Cisco DevNet Associate. This is the only certification that talks about application development, cloud, containers, automations, APIs, Python, and many others. This certification gives you an idea what you really want to specialize in your cloud and data center career. So that's my top three. And maybe you're thinking, where is Microsoft? Well, Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate is not in the list, but I would put it as an honorable mention. So does this mean you can skip tier one base or foundation certifications, CCNA, Linux Plus, and F5CA? Well, you may, but it is still highly recommended for you to have a solid foundation in networking, Linux, and application delivery controller. How about if the budget is good for only four certifications? Well, you can pick any four certifications from the list. But if you will ask me, I will go for mm, CCNA, F5CA, AWS Associate, and Cisco DevNet Associate. I think Linux is something that you can self-study and even without certification, okay? It's good. And uh, between AWS and GCP, AWS is definitely more in demand and more popular. Let's say you want to specialize in security with zero or very minimal experience and you also want to skip cloud and data center certifications. Can I go straight taking security certifications? Absolutely. We also have entry level certifications for security. 
Let's begin. First, we have the CompTIA Security Plus, the most well-known entry-level security certification. And this should be the very first security certification to take because it's all basic and this will also help you prepare for the upcoming security certification exams. Next is CompTIA Pentest Plus. It would be a good idea to know not just attacks and vulnerabilities, but how to use penetration testing tools. Simulate the attacks. This complements your Security Plus as well. Question is, why not CEH? It is also well known, right? Well, we have two reasons. First is you need to pay for the training in order for you to take the exam which costs you much, and recertification is not so good. It's only valid for three years, and there is no other valuable certification from the organization EC Council. The third one is Cisco Cyber Ops Associate. This is formerly known as CCNA Cyber Ops. The exam and course associated to this certification covers many things, network analysis, attacks, Cisco Security Appliance, Security Operations Center or SOC Playbook, and many more. This certification is really designed for those individuals who wants to work in a SOC environment. So that is my top three. There is a reason why I didn't include CompTIA CYSA+. Well, we'll talk about it on the next video, but for now, I will put it as an honorable mention. Does this mean I can skip the tier 1.0 base, CCNA, Linux Plus, and F5CA? Well, not necessarily, but it is recommended for you to have a solid foundation in networking, Linux, and application delivery controller. How about if the budget is good for only four certifications, you can pick any four from the list. But if you ask me, this will be tough. I will go for CCNA, F5CA, Security Plus, and Pentest Plus. The reason why I didn't choose Cisco Cyber Ops Associate is because well, it's still new and it's the least well known. It's the least popular among the three security entry level certifications. But man, I'm telling you, if you complete all of these six certifications, you will get into cybersecurity field easily and you would be on your way to your successful cybersecurity career. So that's my list of best IT certifications for beginners or tier one or entry level. Some of you may not agree with me. That's all right. Leave your comment and I am open for discussions or debate. Remember, one of our criteria is recertification strategies. How will you be able to recertify multiple certifications with less effort? Stay tuned for best mid-level IT certifications or tier two. And I will publish dedicated videos, one for cloud and data center and the other for cybersecurity.